Good morning. I know I can't sing y'all. I have a little vibe going on right now. I have my chai tea latte that I just made. I put a little pumpkin spice on here. So delicious. I got my candle going. This is actually my first time burning this. I got it from Macy's and by the way shout out to Macy's for sponsoring this video. It's by the brand Aromatique and this is the gingerbread brulee one. You guys it smells so good. It's just giving me all the fall vibes right now and I was actually playing some jazz before I turned the camera on. I had to turn it off because, you know, copyright. But um, I was playing some jazz. And y'all, I used to think that jazz was only for like old grandpas, but no, I totally get it now. I totally get it. It's such like a mood. It puts you in the spirit of like a lazy Sunday with the sun shining on you. You don't have to do anything. Like it really takes you there. So I'm all into jazz right now, especially compared to all the riff raff that's on the radio these days. Jazz is a good, good, like, retreat from that. But anyway, today's going to be a good day. I can feel it. I claim it. Um, it's going to be a bit of a self-care day because I have an acupuncture appointment this afternoon. And usually when I have, like, treatments and stuff, when I have massage appointments or now that I'm doing acupuncture, when I have that, I try to make the day pretty chill because you don't want to do something that's relaxing and have to do something super stressful afterwards because it kind of like cancels out. So today I'm just doing some self-care stuff. I got my little under eye mask. I'm getting ready for the day right now. They feel nice and cold. So hopefully I will de-puff while I'm getting ready. But yeah, so I'm just chilling today. I have my acupuncture, like I said. I'm gonna get a pedicure because I looked down yesterday and I noticed that my polish was chipping and I was like, I gotta get a new um, fresh set. I gotta get my toes done. Really just hanging out, chilling out today. Before I do my makeup, I'm gonna be using this Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. I just got this too when I um, bought the candle. I picked this up at Macy's. My skin has been really, really dry these days. I don't know what's going on with it, but it just seems so thirsty lately. And um, so I wanted to just try this out and see how it works. Uh, my Sun came out again. Um, the lighting is like going up and down right now. Apply an even layer to clean skin two to three times per week. Leave on for 10 to 20 minutes. Wipe off excess and or massage into skin. I'm gonna put some of this on there and just put a thin layer all over my face. It smells really, really nice. Taking care of your skin is so important. Like just keeping up your appearance, making sure everything looks good. It just goes such a long way in your morale. So I have a thin layer on. I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes. All right, so we can take those off. Just gonna rub that treatment in. Definitely made my skin feel super soft quite like it. It does feel a little tingly though right now. Maybe it's the olive leaf tioxy that's in here that's making it feel like that. So I feel a bit of a tingle, especially right here. But my skin feels amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my um, makeup, foundation, concealer, blah blah blah. It is my 10 minute face, my go to makeup look. I always feel a little bit more peppy, you know, when I put some effort into my appearance and the um i like the way that my foundation and concealer went on top of the moisturizer it's looking pretty good so before i head out i want to show you guys a little haul because another thing that always makes me feel really good is having fly outfits y'all know i like to dress and um you can't have a fly outfit without fly shoes and i felt like i needed some new shoes in my wardrobe so i got some winter boots i'm obsessed with boots i love boots i don't care what kind they are i'm just all into boots and I found all of my boots on the Macy's holiday gift guide which if you haven't seen it you definitely want to check it out if you just go to macy's.com slash gifts you will find easy to navigate shopping guides based on price or personality and I really love how they have it set up they have luxury items but they also have gifts under a hundred dollars under fifty dollars under twenty five dollars under fifteen dollars so you can search based on your budget or who you're shopping for now the gift guide is mostly holiday focused since we're you know in the holiday season now it's the end of the year but they also have guides based on occasion 
So like if there's an anniversary present that you need to get, if someone just graduated, if someone had a new baby, if you're looking for a birthday present, you can find that there as well. I went and browsed under a bunch of different categories just to see what they were suggesting and I was really impressed with the pics. They have gifts that people will actually want. So I went under the fashion categories and found four dope pairs of boots. First pair are these stunners right here. So these are by DKNY. They kind of look like riding boots to me which I love that equestrian feel and the detailing on these are chef's kiss, the gold accents, the gold trim on the heel, the little button on the side. And on the website they looked really nice but in person they look even more fabulous. It's only a two and a half inch heel which makes them really comfortable and easy to walk in which I love as well. Also got a pair of kind of combat style boots. These are by the brand Sorel. I love these from the moment I peeped them on the gift guide. The sole is what really makes the shoe I think. And just like the overall color scheme I thought that it would work so well within my wardrobe with a bunch of neutrals. And they do have these boots in in different colorways but I really liked this particular one and then my third pair I got these DKNY booties these are kind of like booty version of these tall ones because they have a very similar look to them with the accent on the heel they have the same heel height as well this is a really classy classic style boots with a little bit of flair with the gold detailing on it I like the gold zipper on the outside of the boot I think that's a really nice touch but these again they only have a two and a half inch heel so they're very wearable for like a long period of time and then the last pair I have are these western style boots I just thought these were ultra adorable and the color blocking on here is really great as well it works really really good to just add that extra amount of interest to the boot the shape of it the way that the top part of the boot is the way it slants and it has a really nice chunky block heel also let me tell you guys these boots the prices were phenomenal besides boots I also got this this super plush 100% Turkish cotton bathrobe and the best thing about it is it's personalized so you can get whatever initial you want monogrammed onto here who doesn't like a really good quality robe so getting this along with something like the home medics foot bath that I saw on the gift guide and the pure enrichment aroma diffuser that would be like a really amazing self-care bundle to give to someone so if you celebrate holidays and you buy gifts for people and you're one of those that get easily stressed trying to figure out what to buy for this person or that person or just in general if you're looking for a gift for someone or a gift for yourself like me like I just <laughs> treated myself sometimes you got to do that you got to treat yourself check out the Macy's holiday gift guide because they will hook you up a huge assortment of the best gifts from amazing brands at the best prices for every budget so shop Macy's holiday gift guide or shop now at Macy's thanks Macy's for hooking your girl up so we are doing the Sorel boots look today I'm not gonna bring the puffer because it's I think I'm gonna be too hot with it but I just really wanted to wear these boots out ultra chill but still giving them a look yes 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 <laughs> I had to put my glasses on now it's a it's really a vibe and you know sometimes you just gotta step out and give it to them you don't have to do too much just a little bit so they know So that was really nice. Um, the guy, he did a good job. I'm liking my pedicure. I got white because that's like my go-to color 99% of the time. Whenever I'm doing my feet, I get white because I just feel like it looks clean and fresh and it always looks really, really good and it pops. I brought these flops with me because I didn't want to put my boots right back on immediately after my pedicure. But yeah, so now I am at my acupuncture appointment. I have about five minutes until I go in, so I'm just chilling here for a little bit. Just left acupuncture, feels super relaxed. And um, I've been a couple times since the last video, my first acupuncture vlog. Just want to let you guys know everything's been going really really good it's definitely something that is kind of like a an exhale like a big exhale a big stress relief and I have really just been lately focusing on stopping and smelling the roses because I feel like a lot of times 
especially people who are career driven, we get caught up on go, 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 accomplish this, accomplish that. And I had to sit back and realize like I've accomplished so much, especially in the last year and a half. I've done so much. I've reached so many goals that I had set out and I'm like, but you're still going, going, going. So I need to sometimes slow down and enjoy the fruits of my labor and just take a pause and enjoy the journey. So I'm really trying to be way more intentional about that and um, not getting so caught up in the rat race and the hamster wheel. So yeah, this is like part of my self-care, de-stressing, kickback type of thing. I think in the next week or two, I'm gonna schedule a massage because I really like those as well. A hot stone massage, the best. Every now and then just taking time to Get your zen on, you know? So I'm gonna put my boots back on because we gotta, you know, keep the look together. I wanted to mention, like I said, I got these boots from the gift guide and I ordered them on line and a lot of times when i'm online shopping i used to be super super impulsive and i would just buy anything that caught my eye but now i what i do is i'll put stuff in my cart and then i'll wait 24 hours and if i come back and i still want that thing then i'll go ahead and order it but if i come back and i'm kind of iffy then i'll be like eh, no i'll remove it from the cart so i did have a couple other options that i was considering but then when i came back the next day the four boots that i showed you guys those were the ones that I really really want it so those are the ones that I got but yeah let me know how you do online shopping what's your strategies for just making sure you get exactly what you want and stuff that you'll be happy with long term that's what I do but I'm about to head to probably mm, a market because I want to get a little dessert I feel like that'll be a nice cap for my day a nice little mm, ending to my day have a nice dessert a vegan dessert obviously just grabbed my lunch today my lunch is very basic but it's very delicious i got i just got a large fry <laughs> y'all know what it is <laughs> The secret to this, let me tell you my little secret to the fry game. I um, get these containers, I fill them mostly with ketchup and then I pour the malt vinegar on top, put the top on, shake it up. It makes for like the perfect fry dipping sauce. Mmm, I like that tanginess from the vinegar. Such a gorgeous day, but I'm like directly in the sun, so I gotta move. Oh, but before I do, also got a thing of peanuts. So that's my lunch today, y'all. I know it's not a proper nutritious meal, but this is like my cheat day, so don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm back in. I am luxuriating in my robe. I know that's not a word, but just roll with me, y'all. I'm about to do my nails. I'm just putting um, some press-ons on. Press-ons on. <laughs> yeah. Toes are done. Gotta get the nails done. Yeah, so I'm just doing these because they're easy and it'll only take like five minutes tops so y'all when i came in here it smelled like a bakery you know how when you walk in a bakery and you smell all the sweets the candle still like the candle smell was still in here and it smelled just so so yummy so i have it lit again because it's just it's really giving me that ambiance i'm loving it um so yeah i'm about to go ahead and do my nails real quick i'll show you guys the finished look when i'm done in a couple minutes <laughs> bada bing bada boom all done you guys, today just keeps getting better and better. Remember when I said this morning it was going to be a good day? Well, you know what? Sometimes you just got to name it and claim it and it will be so because I just got two back-to-back -back <laughs> good news. How do you say that? I've just got good news, two different ones, back-to-back -back within the past hour. And these are like big things. I'll let you guys know what one of them is. So my daughter, she just got accepted into her top college choice which I mean she was like really excited about this school we just went to visit it last week and she just got the acceptance letter today so I'm just like ah, I don't know I'm getting emotional um yeah it's so crazy and I know I have a college age child my mind is blown too y'all don't say anything about it I know it's crazy to me to think about I can't even, like, it doesn't seem real to me. Like, where did the time go? I'm too young for this. What's going on? But yes, um, so 
yeah we're really 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 excited just so proud you know oh goodness um but i came down here because i wanted to try out these desserts that i picked up at the market let me show you what i got i got this dairy-free vegan cheesecake my cheesecake that i make from scratch that i have in my cookbook shameless plug um is like my favorite but sometimes you know you just don't feel like making things from scratch so i just bought this to see how it was i've never tried it before so i'm about to taste it and we'll see and then i got this dairy-free cookie dough ice cream made out of coconut milk definitely did not <laughs> realize that you're supposed to thaw this in the refrigerator for five to six hours so can't have this right now let's try the cookie dough ice cream it's nice and soft i like the consistency of it it definitely has kind of an overpowering coconut flavor. I like it, but I just wish it tasted a little more like vanilla ice cream. But it has little cookie dough chunks in here, which are really tasty. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog right here. So hope you all enjoyed. Thanks again to Macy's for sponsoring this video. And I will see you guys on my next one. Peace.